Hello, hello. Welcome to Crazy Games. We are in Genshin Impact. And we are watching the moon eclipse uh, Celestia. I saw this online and I thought it would be cool to showcase it here. <laughs> Something cool is about to happen when the moon gets in or crosses path with the um, with Celestia. Maybe I should have uh, started this a little earlier, but have a little patience. It's gonna happen, and you're gonna—it's gonna blow your mind if you don't already know what it is. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hello, what's going on here? The moon is in between Tevat or whatever the planet Tevat's on, and Celestia. So. That would suggest that Celestia is gigantic and further away than the moon. Since um, Celestia seems to be in the same um, rotation as um, as the rotation of this planet. I don't know. I don't really know how. The <laughs> they, they, I don't think there there's ever any lore or anything about the astrology, astrology, astronomy, astronomy of this place. Like the study of like the solar system and planets and stuff. So having the moon go in between Celestia and uh, this planet, it would it would suggest that it's really far away. And since it's not in the gravitational pull of the moon, like it's the moon isn't like pulling it out of its uh, own orbit, would suggest that it would be really far away from the moon too. But then it is rotating at the same speed. Or at least, not the same speed, but the same um, synchronization of the rotation of the planet, so that it will always be fixed in the same spot. As you notice, the sun and the moon is moving, but then Celestia itself stays in the same spot. So it was—it's kind of like the North Star in like real life. It stays relatively in the same spot. Actually, no, that's different. Never mind. Because uh, the North Star is just at the top or at, of the Earth's uh, rotation axis, rotational axis. But yeah, this uh, Celestia is rotating the same as Tevat, and uh, we don't know why. Did, is, is it magic that does that? How, how big is this place, really, if it's so much further away from the moon? <laughs> I don't. Maybe it's just like um, oversight from the devs from MiHoYo, where they just painted this skybox and wanted to have some like Laputa-like structure in the sky, and they didn't really think about all this uh, space and astronomy and, and solar system and rotations and gravitational pull and stuff. They didn't really like put a lot of thought into it. They just wanted something cool in the sky. <laughs> but yeah. That was a bit of an intro there, <laughs> but uh, we're gonna finish the fight, really. We're gonna go uh, do the last part, hopefully, since there's uh, Primo Gems in this last uh, quest. It would suggest that it is pretty close to the end of this uh, Archon quest. And uh, let's, um, let's do a soul set apart. Enter the runes again. You continue searching for the first... Wait. That hasn't changed. You continue searching for the first field tiller, following the information you've obtained from Barbara and the Great Wolf King of the North. You'd think that would change to, uh, you must finish the fight. Ah, uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's go there. Mm -hmm. Let's do this one. So yeah, I actually changed Lumine to Animo. I was using Geo for the most part, but. I think it's uh, time for a little bit of a change. We'll see how this does. The thing about the advantage of Geo is that you can drop the Geo constructs to line of sight things to like act as a block. Oh, like um, act as something to block projectiles. But uh, I never really took advantage of that in my gameplay. 
the way I used it. Like, I normally just use it, make, make it explode into people. And whenever I fight against someone bigger, it just ends up spawning underneath them and pushing them up and it becomes a bit of a annoyance to fight. It's more annoying and janky than it is useful in my uh, experience. But uh, yeah, for the most part, the Anemo user, Anemo Traveler, is just straight up useful since you can like suck people together or blow them away. So yeah, we'll see how um, Anemo Traveler does. Explore, call the abyss. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Sure. I'm really close to maxing out the companionship well, of those three other characters I have. Razor, Sucrose, and Diona. So very soon here, I'm going to have another team. Well, Diona is only level 7, but Sucrose and um, Razor is pretty close to being maxed out. And uh, normally, I have uh, Bennett, and he's level 8, so he's pretty close too. For the sake of story, I play with Lumine, but... When I'm doing daily commissions and stuff, I uh, have Bennett in place of Lumine. But I have a few characters set up to uh, replace Sucrose and Razor at the moment, and I don't really know who I'll choose next. I'm thinking when Sucrose is go is done, when Sucrose's friendship is maxed out, I'm gonna put in Kea. And when Razor is maxed out, I was thinking of putting in Sin, Sin Yang. But she's not leveled up yet, so... Eh, there's still time. There's still a bit of time before they max out, so maybe I'll be able to get her ready in time. But then I also have Xingqiu Xiangling from previous. Um, like, she's already level 8 because I used her before. <laughs> but I, I benched her because I wanted to make a full monster team. Um, I also have Chang Yun ready to go. And he's already pretty strong too, his attack is 1500, so he's ready to go. And um, Lisa and Amber just needs to be leveled up to 80, and they're already ascended so that they can be leveled up to 80. So I've, I've been putting a lot of effort into leveling and ascending my characters, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. That's something to look forward to. Well, the left side opened up this time. よし。don't worry. Endora will protect us, right, Endora? Don't fall asleep. You're supposed to protect us. Come on. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's let's do it. Yeah, we're ready. I guess we came out of this area last time, and we're just going backwards now. Woo! Oh, they still have chests. I didn't check the other one. Now I kind of want to go back up there to see if there's a chest. Is it worth it? Uh. Uh. Oh, I can't get back there. Ah, oh, well. Nope, no chest. Yep, a chest. Give me the goods. Oh, okay. I kind of felt funny there. Oh, I died. I hope this teleports me back to the beginning. Then I can check that area. Ooh. Try to trick me there. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We got this. We got this. Alright. Ah, uh, here we go. Nowhere at Yodana. Kai Sweetai. Jitsunif Kaina Hyada. Kisama no you, Bukimino Imiga, Rikai Dikta. 
<laughs> what happened to the quote unquote dead body? And what happened to the floor that was poisonous? <laughs> <laughs> well, where'd you come from, buddy? You have really long legs. <laughs> it looks like Endora was like bored by his speech there, She's just falling asleep like, oh, boring, you talk too much. <laughs> Is he going to take off his mask and reveal um, what's happening? I'm, I'm talking about Dane's sleeve, not uh, Abyss Herald. <laughs> Don't worry, we beat him twice already. We'll beat him a third time, no problem. What you got? Hold up, hold up. Alright, we're back. He spins his head right round, right round when he goes down. I'm going to do this. Kaza to Tomoni Sara. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Missed, you missed, man. <laughs> come on, come on. We expect more from you. You have such long legs. Okay. Uh, I should have said that. I'm sorry. I didn't know you can spawn friends. I wasn't expecting you to, to make friends. Yeah, nice, it's stuck on that rock, so it's like constantly... Like the tornado was stuck on that rock, so it's constantly pulsing damage on him. That's a neat trick. I'll do a spin, that's a neat trick. Shields in this game is not that fun to play against. It just makes them into a health sponge. But I guess if I had um I guess more a better ice character that constantly can put cryo on them, it like could take away the shield faster. How would I do this? Yeah, that's not enough. Oh, 
Oh, he did like three of those in a row. Come on, there we go. Oh man, that shield. This takes forever to destroy. There we go. Whoa, crazy cutscene. I like it. They need more of these. Maybe it's a very uh, labor intensive to animate fight scenes like this. Force choke? I didn't know he was a. Whoa, hello! It's our brother. We miss you, come back. We want to be family. Whoa, that's a cool looking sword. Do we, will we ever get that sword? Is it going to be a five star sword? <gasps> it's our brother! It's our brother! Oh my god! Oh my god, I like totally miss you. <laughs> Start t telling like embarrassing baby stories or childhood stories about your brother so that everyone here just like <laughs> looks at him funny and he's like super embarrassed and he starts to blush. <laughs> uh, when he was young, he used to love uh, chewing the cereal and then spitting it back out and mixing it back into the the milk and he one time he like drank his chewed up cereal milk stuff and uh started laughing and the and then this cereal milk came out of his nose and it was the funniest thing ever <laughs> that's a bad story i'm sorry well i continue Hold on. <gasps> he has a voice I finally found you! Let's get out of here, it's too dangerous. I finally found you! What? He talks? How come we don't get to talk? You're asking about Dane? What? We've been separated for so long. Why are you asking about something that doesn't matter? Oh, her face! Lumin's face is so sad. Oh, I want to pat her on the head to make her feel better. <sighs> Dane's leaf is like, We were lovers once, but not anymore. I've, uh, cut the ties from my past a long time ago. <laughs> Sora? Mata Sora? His, his uh, name is Sora? Sora and Hotaru? I guess that's their Japanese names. I kind of suspected that Dane Sleaf knows our brother because when we first met him in that Dane Sleaf story, the bow, bow hunter or something, something Dane Sleaf, bow keeper Dane Sleaf story, he talks about, he like asks us three questions and he's like, She's just like dot 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 him, and I at the time I already made a guess that is he talking about our brother? Because <laughs> who else are we just like? <laughs> and then um, at the time I think I might have second guessed myself and said something like, "Oh, maybe he's just talking about a previous partner that he, or a travel companion or something that he had that may he might have lost." And uh, spending time with Lumine kind of reminds him of better times or something. <laughs> That's why he wants to help us. But yeah. I guess my in my gut instinct was uh, correct. <laughs> Why? Well, his um, glowy bits are white. What does that mean? Because our glowy bits change color depending on which vision we've um, we've commune with. We've um. We've took, we got the blessing from, from those statues. Like it glows blue, teal, greenish when uh, we are using Animo and it glows like bright orangey brown, brownish when we're attuned to like the Geo. And his is white, so what is he attuned to? Um, abyss, the opposite of abyss magic, light magic? Sora. Hold on a second. <sighs> dot dot dot. Hotaru. 
最後の冠類野球艇親衛隊真っ向の剣500年前彼は冠類野の滅亡を阻止できなかった He's 500 years old, so he is he some sort of god too? Or at least 500 years old? Oh, okay. No, Monsters of the Abyss? So people of Kanreya got turned into the Hilly Churls? Or those Abyss Mages? Let's go home. You can tell me later. And tell me all this later. Let's go home. Come on, Ether. Let's go home. What home? Where are we gonna go? Go back to Mondstadt? Go back to Li Yue? Where are we gonna go? Like this dot, both these dialogue chalks doesn't make sense. It'll make more sense if it's like, how about we just go sit down and uh, talk this through or something? Would make more sense than um, any of these. Uh, you can tell me later. Let's go home. <laughs> Oh, okay. Just like Thor and Asgard, I guess, right? <laughs> Asgard is where Asgardians are. So in Aether's point of view, um, the Abyss Mages are just trying to um, take back what's what's right for them. What, what's rightfully theirs because they kind of fell to a tragic incident 500 years ago but uh in our point of view the people of Mondstadt and the people of Li Yue are just people and the abyss mages are like messing around <laughs> and causing trouble so it's one of those gray area you know, those cases of gray area, and you can't really say who's good or who's bad. Destiny? Destiny? The true nature of this world. So Ether appeared in this world a lot longer than we have, it seems. <sighs> See, this would make so much more sense if Lumine has a voice act. Like, actually, a uh, voice here. <laughs> what? Honestly, feel this uh, entire uh, scenario, this entire scene would have been so much more impactful if we actually heard Lumine like kind of uh, argue and and try to convince Aether to go with her with her own voice instead of having her just being silent the entire time and having Aether have a voice. Like if Aether has a voice, it only makes sense that Lumine should also have a voice, right? Because they're twins. They, it doesn't make, well, I guess those aren't, those are like mutually exclusive. You, you don't necessarily need both people to be able to talk, but I, I don't, I really don't understand why they just, the MiHoYo decided to go this direction 
instead of making it like just like a regular game where Lumine can talk and have her own opinions and stuff. I feel like having this dialogue option all the time is more of a detriment. It doesn't really add anything for the player. Like right now, I'm like, I'm not sad. You're right, Paimon. There is hope. Like there, there's really no difference between picking either of these. So there's there, there's no like um there's no moment where I'm like, oh um, uh, if I were in this position, what would I choose? Would I choose the blue door, the red door, or the yellow door? Or whatever, but this is like all the doors lead to the same thing anyway, so there's really no point. So this doesn't this implementation doesn't really add anything. And on top of that, the opportunity costs of not having Lumine be her own character with her own voice, with her own opinions, with her own like interjections and stuff, is really making the story fall flat, in my opinion. If that makes sense. But yeah. You're right, Paimon. There's hope. <laughs> Once we go to Inazuma, huh? Is that what's coming next? Oh man, I'm super excited for that. And a new place to explore. Oh my goodness. Super excited for that. I think the exploration is like... And the puzzles, the open world puzzles, and, and everything in the open world is like their strongest for this game, like their strongest aspect. So I'm really, um, really looking forward to uh, the time we get to explore a new place again and uh, find treasure chests everywhere and everything. We should keep that in mind as we look for more clues. Another objective for our journey. If if Inazuma is where going next, I'm I'm really excited. Ah, but the I was too focused on my brother to listen carefully. They didn't really say much to begin with. They just they just kind of revealed that Dane Sleep is in who he we think he is, and it turns out he is a uh, Kirai Hei Kiraiya. Kirahayan? A person from Kiaria? Okay. Oh, jeez, I'm already like. at almost half an hour, but whatever, this is the end. He's the prince. アリスの人よりも地位が高いってことだな。一番高いかどうかはわからないけど、それとお前のお兄さんが鎌倉を下し天理と戦うのが目的だって言ってたけど、どういう意味なんだろう。七神と七国を滅ぼすってことなのか？
why would he be um, Aether's enemy? I thought he was trying to bring justice to... Bring justice for the K... K... Rai... Ken Rai... Yahans. Unless Dayton is like... I don't know... A traitor of theirs or something, I don't know. Wait, that's what I just asked. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Maybe I should just shut up and let Paimon talk. We might have new questions, but few answers. Thinking about it over and over will solve nothing. I don't know. Sometimes, um, if you think about something enough, you'd eventually be able to tackle it from a different angle and uh, get some new insights. So, <laughs> I guess this one. Oh, that's right. Oh, Paimon, I'm so glad you're you're my friend. <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah, Paimon. Okay, let's do it. We will be united. Quest complete. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, a big chest appears. Nice. Oh yeah, so yeah, the story was interesting. It revealed a bit more. We actually got to see our brother this time, which was nice. I guess I should have explored that place more. There might be more hidden chests. Oh uh, well. I kind of wish uh, these story instances can be replayed. That you can redo the story if you want to. I wonder if they'll ever implement that. They do have... Um, like these stories you can re apparently repeat. I wonder in the future if they're ever gonna make let you um, repeat the story. Maybe just for the story's sake and have no rewards or anything attached to it. Or very little rewards attached to it. So that you can experience the story again. I guess it is a free to play game. And they might want you to just make another account if you want to re-experience the story. But then you would have to re-pull like... All your characters and everything and re-explore everything and redo all that stuff too which would be kind of annoying <laughs> so yeah i don't know it would be awesome if they can if uh, mihoyo would let us replay the story whenever we want <laughs> they can maybe even attach a thing if you replay the entire story and uh, do these extra bonus missions during the story or something you get an extra reward of some kind i don't know but yeah that's um we will be reunited. That's the end. I will uh, shut up now and uh, end, uh, end the video. Since it's a uh, lot longer than I anticipated. It's over 30 minutes. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you like this kind of stuff, if you like watching me make stupid judgment and comments while playing Genshin Impact, subscribe for more. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hope to see you next time. Goodbye.